Stuart, Manu Tuolangi's on the wing for the second test against New Zealand. Um, can you explain a bit about the rationale behind moving him there? Oh, it's something we want to look at for a while. Uh, obviously, you know, you've got high quality players in, uh, in the back line. Uh, and he gives us uh, a definite strike option from the wing, you know, in terms of starter players, uh, counter-attack, kick returns, etc. So, um, with Luther and Billy Twelvetrees playing so well in the Six Nations, um, I think the back line, you know, has, has the right balance that I'm looking for in, in terms of winning a test match. You know, it's got pace and power, he's got footballers in there. You know, he's, he's gone back to a position he played as a, as a young player. Obviously, it's, a, it's a going to be a step for him, but he's been brilliant in training and uh, I think he's looking forward to it. I was going to say, how has he trained there and what has he had to learn to get ready to, to play there in such a big test match? Well, it's obviously uh, positionally mainly, uh, so making sure he understands defensively, you know, he's usually second from the end and now he's on the end, so making sure he understands the backfield. Um, the way we defend, we have uh, our wingers up a lot, so often it's, it's not our wingers in the backfield um, taking high balls, it's, it's usually the fullback or it's the number eight um, or the fly half really. Uh, so it's understanding that um, and understanding his, uh, his aerial, you know, the aerial stuff that's going to come his way obviously. Uh, but, you know, with every um, risk to look at in terms of putting him in out of position, um, uh, the rewards beat that every time, really, because, you know, it's such a powerful and explosive backline now and such a well-balanced one. Um, it's, it's an exciting one to, to go into the same test with. You mentioned the combination of Billy Twelgey's news of Burrell back in the centres. Um, Danny Kerr and Owen Farrell, of course, as well, combining again at half-back. How important is the, the continuity you've got there in those key decision-making positions? Yeah, I mean, certainly in training they've looked very cohesive, you know, coming away from club games um, and back into the international team. Uh, it's obviously very tough on, on the players that played last week because there were some excellent individual performances. But, uh, but overall, with um, uh, those guys back together again, you can see their understanding and cohesion. And, you know, it is part of um, what it takes to win the big games, you know, making sure you've got that. Now, they're going to get tested and, you know, they've not played together for a long time, but uh, they've certainly trained well and hopefully they'll bring that cohesion into, into the game on Saturday. One change in the pack, is that acknowledgement really that they, they went well there on Saturday? Yeah, definitely a bit of that, um, but also um, a, a bit of um, strength on our bench as well to make sure that, you know, the last 10, 15, 20 minutes of the game, we've got, we've got some ballast to bring on and some power. Uh, and certainly when you look at the likes of Billy Vonapola and and Courtney and Dylan, etc. You know, we've got some some good players we can bring off the bench now because it's it's an 80 minute game. You know, not a, not a 65 one. You speak about credit in the bank. I imagine that Jeff Pyle and Courtney Laws have both got a bit in there. What was that? One of the closest decisions, and and what tipped it in the balance just for in Jeff's? Yeah, I mean, it, absolutely. I mean, there were lots of very close decisions. Jeff's ability to to run not only the, our attacking lineup, the defensive line out. You know, he's done it at the highest level, both for the for his club and for the for the Lions. Um, Courtney came in did well in Six Nations, and uh, obviously he brings something else. So you know, I'm sure Courtney will play a full part in in the game. You know, it's a, it's a different role for him, but it's an important role nonetheless. Tom Woods back at six, as we mentioned, he's had some of his finest games in the past against New Zealand. What do you think it is about his character and his style of play that brings out the best in him against the All Blacks? Uh, I think well, he came over here and he lived over here, um, and. Uh, so I think he understands the, the psychology of the team, um, and, but also he's the, he's the heartbeat of our team. You know, he's, a, he's a great leader and a great support for Chris Robshaw. And uh, I think he'll bring uh, a lot uh, to the team in terms of energy and enthusiasm. He's played exceptionally well in those two finals at the end of the season. Um, and I know last week he was ready to play, he told me, so uh, this week he's definitely going to be ready. You, you mentioned um, the importance of the bench. Having real game changes on there, do you think that's going to be important on Saturday? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, uh, as you saw at the weekend, you know, it uh, it is an important part in modern rugby, and it was it was tough on you know John Marler to play the full eighty, but I thought it was exceptional. But having some guys on the bench who really can come on and add value to the team, that's that's going to be critical in the game. Um, and you know, like I say the, the three forwards in particular, you know, obviously uh, uh, strong strong players, and you know the front rowers, you always need two good props you can you can cover that. And Kieran Brooks is going to get an opportunity here. Um, you know, Henry Thomas having a bit of a neck problem, so Kieran gets a great opportunity, and he's been great in training. So, uh, as a tight head and Matt Mullen as a loose head, you know we trust them.